mm, 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 mm. I'm living my best life. I can't even help it. Hey beautiful people, welcome back. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today and I really hope that you're excited to just sit down and have a good old fashioned get ready moment with me because I love these kinds of videos. I think they're super fun and I don't know, I just like to sit down and talk. It doesn't have to be about product. It doesn't have to be about anything in particular. It could just be me rambling on for 15 minutes or 30 minutes about God only knows what and that's okay. So if you are excited for that, um, I hope that you keep watching and stick around. But if that doesn't entice you enough, I mean like a conversation with your girl, um, I really hope that you are at least a little excited for this because I finally I know I just did a <laughs> I did a video where I was like I'm not gonna pick up these these are so bad and I ended up coming in and I was like okay I, I want the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette mainly because I want to check his purple formula and like because they're so difficult to create and um and formulate and make them to where they don't blend away and they don't get muddy and all of these things so at the end of it all like my curiosity did get the better of me I picked up his palette and I thought it would be cool. You know, we're gonna play around with this a little bit in today's video Not too much because I don't want like a hot pink bright purple whatever type eye going into the office But we're gonna go ahead and dabble with that. I also picked up two of his new glosses, which um, I absolutely love the colors These are super pretty and I don't know. So we're just gonna sit down moral of the story We're gonna hang out and enjoy some life together So let's go ahead zoom the camera and let's get started because I talk so much Oop. Ooh, okay, I almost hit my head on the mic. It's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and kick this off with primer. I'm still testing out. This is the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. I just used this in like a couple videos ago for you guys. I'll link it up here. And then with that, just like I did in that video as well, I'm gonna grab my Farsali Liquid Glass and give ourselves like one of these, like, oh my God, like I just cried tears of pearlescent liquid. <laughs> no. Um, wh what is happening? Can I, what is, what is today? Ugh. Is that like a little bit more acceptable? Probably not, but it's fine. Nobody really cares what your hair looks like. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, I think so often as someone that comes on the internet, you're like, oh, I want to put my best face forward, <laughs> literally, or my hair or this or that. And after doing it now for, how long have I been doing this? Like almost three years. It'll be three years, I think this spring that I've been on YouTube. And after doing it for so long, I'm just like, I don't care anymore. Like, however I want to wear my hair is how I'm gonna wear my hair. Like, I have went through so many different hair phases and right now, because my hair is at a super awkward length, I'm at like this, I love librarian buns and like high ponies that are curly. That's just the stage that we're in. And you know what? I've grown to just like love and embrace it and I just don't care. I love that I say I don't care and then I talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm like, I don't care. I'm not gonna justify anything to anyone. Just kidding. Do you like my librarian bun? Isn't it fun? <laughs> Does it really bring out like my 50 year old <laughs> face? <laughs> yes. All right, this will work. This isn't the one I wanted. This is the 424. I've been talking about these a ton. They're the Real Techniques brushes that like you can customize them, but I like how fluffy they are. They work perfect for blending, like buffing in a little bit of concealer. Just as a spot concealer, they work so nice. Take some of that ColourPop skin tint here mix it up with a little bit of my catrice um this right here is my real technique sponge that i had to cut in half because why is this right where my brain went i don't know let's just talk about it so this is my real technique sponge i had to cut it in half after i believe my cat brutally tore the entire top side of it and as you guys know or if you don't know um you might be like a little newer to my channel i'm that type of person that like i will use something until i physically can't anymore especially when it's a makeup sponge and especially when i feel like i haven't got all my money out of it <laughs> like if i buy a makeup sponge i don't care that this is what like 7.99 or whatever like it's more affordable for sure um but i don't care like that doesn't take away the fact that I paid money for it and I will quite literally cut it down until it's the size of a teeny tiny little nubbin um to use it because I like to get all the use that I can out of my products fun fact oh my god that combination it looks so good Oh, I actually wore this again the other day. This used to be like last, I would say going out of summer. This was my favorite makeup combination ever. My God, I really, I know you guys tell me not to yell about lighting, but I really hope it looks better on camera than it does right now. When I'm currently getting ready, it's like before the sun even comes up. Like there's no sun in the sky, okay? It's that early. Um, and I just, I wanted to get ready so bad. And I always forget about the fact that like you need light to be seen. It's weird. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Hourglass Concealer that I also tested out in that video. This is in, what is this, the shade Birch? Yeah, Birch, you know, Birch, like the tree. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, set my under eye, Maybelline Fit Me, Oh Fi Fair. 
Also, I just sat here and got ready <laughs> by myself, like did my foundation, did my concealer. I'm living my life and I'm just like not talking. Why? I don't know. Probably because, and I feel like everybody gets in this like weird little space where you end up so inside your own head that you forget there's a world around you. Um, and that's really not a good headspace when you're filming a YouTube video. So sorry, let's go ahead and talk. Um, I think the, oh, I have a question. Okay. So I asked, or I wanted to ask you guys right now I'm doing just like a regular old get ready with me. It's fine. Um, I love doing these videos, but I saw somewhere on the internet, I've seen it several times, but I know for sure, sure I just saw um, Jessica Braun, I want to say, do it. And I wanted to know, would you guys be into it? Oh, it's fine. I love powder all over my leg. Not a big deal. Um, this is the story of my life today. But I want to know from you guys, would you be interested in seeing an unedited get ready with me? And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's basically like a long ass video. It could be a half hour. It can be 45 minutes, almost an hour, an hour. Like I've seen them a ton of different lengths where you quite literally just come on camera and there's not a ton of editing. Um, like obviously if I have to edit it, like, oh, I have to blow my nose or whatever, you know, you can edit that out. But like for the most part, you just sit on camera and like you hang out and it's not about, um, everything being perfect. It's not about constant dialogue or whatever. It's just like literally hanging out with someone as if they're sitting right next to you like to my understanding that's kind of the concept and I thought it was really cool and I wanted to ask you guys is that something you'd be open to or not or like what do you guys think like realistically is that something you would watch um because again it's going to be on the long side so I, I didn't want to just assume so what else do we have to talk about do I want to do any cream products or do I just want to powder my face and not. I'm gonna just powder my face. Okay, I've been going through like these super weird waves lately, and you guys know if you've been watching me for even like the last six months, I have been obsessed, obsessed with cream products. Like, would not go a day without cream bronzer and cream blush and cream highlight. And for some reason, lately, I've just been like, eh. I, and I don't know why, because I love the way it looks on my skin, but I've just been like, eh. Or I do like this little, like, half and half kind of thing. Let me show you. Actually, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I guess moral of that story is I lied. So we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of this um, Chanel Soleil cream bronzer. And normally when I use it, I really go in and I'll like work it in and I'll make sure it looks really nice and defined. But lately I've been loving, like I mentioned, this kind of like half type approach where I take it on the same brush. This is just a BH Cosmetics number two brush. And I very lightly kind of like stipple it, like the lightest amount. I'm taking barely any product and I very lightly just like veil it up onto my cheekbones. And I like to take it like if your cheekbone is right in this little niche right here from the top of your ear down, I like to take mine a little bit higher just because I have the tendency to pull it down. And you know, since we're on that train, we might as well grab a little bit of this. This is the ColourPop blush stick in Under Pressure. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and uh, pop that on my cheek right here. I love this color, oh my God, it's so good. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry, back to, back to life. Back to life, ooh, back to reality, ooh, back to, <laughs> can't help it, it's still just who I am. All right, so let's go ahead, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> funny story, I mean, funny to me, probably just gonna be weird to you, but that's also fine. Um, So, I recently wanted to, I was talking to my dad and we were trying to figure out um, like the best way, what we wanted to use to like stream music, find music, what have you. Um, Cause we've used, like we've tested out Spotify and we've tested out Pandora and we've tested out Slacker, you know, we've tested out all of those. And um, he, well, we were talking about the other day and I was like, you know, you know the one we haven't tried given that we all have iPhones that actually makes the most sense is Apple music. Like I didn't, it never even occurred to me until now to test it out. So I did the, um, you can get like a three month free thing and we downloaded it just the other day. So I've only been using it for a little while, but guys, I have been dying with the music selection. Like I typed in nineties and it automatically brought up nineties greatest hits. And I was like, oh, okay, there's playlist after playlist. Oh man, your girl's been jamming in her car. I'm like, they call me hop step up. Like, I, I can't help it. It's Oh, it's so good. And I, I just, oh my God, guys. And I feel so old too. Like, do you remember? Okay. When I was a young kid, I was in high school. I graduated when I was 17. And I remember being like looking at, you know, older, like the, the older moms, 
now those are me. But like, I remember you'd look at them and be like, oh, they want to be cool so bad. Like they're driving their little minivans, their little SUVs, acting like they matter, just trying to relive their youth. And now that's me. It was like 22 degrees outside the other day, which in Northern Michigan is like a sunny heat wave. It's 22 degrees and I'm sitting there. My window is down and I have on like this little windbreaker. My hair is up. I've got a coffee and I'm just like, bye, 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 bye. Mm, mm, mm. I'm living my best life. I can't even help it. Okay, guys, so today is just one of those days I could not do my brows on camera. I tried to talk and do them, and it just, it wasn't working. What I ended up sounding like was like a CD that was skipping. It was like, eh, uh, 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 and it just, there were no actual words or sentences leaving my mouth. So this is where we are, and now we're going to go ahead and get into the, da, 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 the Bloodlust palette. Now, this right here is obviously the outer packaging. I think this looks really beautiful. Like, presentation is a 10 out of 10 for me, but the real stunner and like show of force is this packaging. It has like this very, um, what did Teresa call it? She called it um, like a, a fuzzy pen pad or something like that, but it has that that faux feel to it. It reminds me of a Crown Royal bag um, from the liquor store. Let's go ahead, open her up, and here is the inside. There is still the protective um, thing in here, and I actually left it in because, guys, this is probably, as weird of a compliment as this is, this is probably the nicest piece of protective plastic I've ever seen in a palette like this. It is so like, can I don't know if you can hear it. It is so thick and so sturdy. Um, I think I might actually save this and either use it for like mixing foundation or, well, normally I do that on the back of my hand, but there's a lot of uses you can actually get out of something like this, especially when the plastic itself is like really nice quality. And just looking down, I found two of these because I never clean. Um, so these are actually two ones that I had out of different palettes that I've gotten over the last couple of weeks. And I just wanted to you know, kind of throw that out there. Like, this is what they usually are. Something, like, more flimsy, more, you know, meh, tossable, what have you. And obviously, yes, those are thicker plastic, so it's less material, but I just wanted to mention that this this one is nicer. Anyways, why have I talked about plastic for so long? I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the palette. I'm not gonna really get into, like, the swatching and all of that. There's a ton of videos on it, so if you wanna see it, you can, but I'm very intrigued. Like I said, light-ish little purple look today. Let's go ahead and take off this plastic. Oh, wait, everybody just, like, Oh, say a prayer. Oh, that's satisfying. I love that I just set my concealer in my Maybelline Fit Me powder. Why? I don't know, because I like a mess. I also love the banging sound. Isn't that nice? This is wonderful. That would be my dad, being my dad, doing, doing what dads do, which is make noise at the most inconvenient times. Like, I'm sorry, I don't care if it's making noise while you film or uh, farting at the grocery store and laughing until they're purple in the face. It's what dads do. I'm sorry, it's just what they do. Now, here's something I was asked about, just like, you know, actually talking for a second. Um, I did get asked because obviously a few weeks ago, I don't, I think it might have been two weeks ago at this point. I, um, what, wait, what color do I want to go in with? I should probably discuss this first. Um, let's go ahead because I want it to be a lighter purple eye. I'm going to take Your Majesty, which is like this lighter uh, bone colored shade and I'm gonna actually use that I almost never set the lid but I am going to today I'm gonna use that shade and just lightly throw it through the crease just so that way none of the colors that I use today come off like overly rich and I think after that shade we're gonna go in with the shade high king which is this one um, but anyways getting into what I was gonna talk about I got asked um, a few weeks ago because I did miss an upload. Just wanted to give you guys an up, well, first of all, I wanna thank you for asking because like so many people have said, hey, are you doing okay? Like, how are things? You mentioned your health isn't going so good. And I appreciate you guys asking and caring so much. Um, and the reality is I wish that I had like more answers to give you. Um, I just don't. <laughs> I don't have anything really um, of substance because as of right now, the doctors, I haven't seen um, any of the specialists that I need to see to actually have those answers. But as soon as I have an actual update with something that's like a little bit more concrete, I will, um, I'll hopefully be able to tell you kind of where we're at and, uh, you know, just, just what's going on. Because I feel like, you know, me being open about the stuff that I go through as far as my illnesses are concerned is literally one of the foundations of my channel. Um, because I actually started this channel so that way people who were like me and like sick all the time and whatnot, they didn't have to feel so alone. And um, I don't want to stop being open about that and stop sharing kind of what's going on. But I also don't want to be like, oh, this is what they said when it's very, very inconclusive at this stage. Oh, this color is like 
wow. I want to go in next, I think, with Blood Queen, which is this shade right here. So far, let's go ahead and talk about this palette, because I'm actually really liking it. I love the way that these colors blend together. Like, they're a very effortless blend, which is nice, and all the colors, for as much as I first looked at this palette and was like, eh, um, it's actually given me some pretty pretty nice vibes now that I'm seeing it in person. And I don't, what was up with that? Guys, there were two palette launches at the exact same time, this one and the Jaclyn Hill one, that when you saw them on the internet, they were like the most just, ugh, like I'm not interested in it at all. And then for some reason, seeing it in person, it was like a totally different palette. And I don't know, like, what happened there? Even in his video, like, when Jeffrey debuted this palette, I was like, eh, it doesn't look that great. <laughs> like, it looks really, but then seeing it, seeing an actual picture of it, like, on a counter, just in normal daylight, it looked so much better. And I just, oh my gosh. And the same thing happened with Jacqueline's palette. I'm like, what is going on? This palette so far, like I said, everything's blending together. The only thing that I'm, like, a little bit eh on is, like, the size of the package overall is incredibly cumbersome. And I personally don't like it when there's like empty space on the sides of shades like this right here. This is all just empty packaging for me. And that just like for me personally drives me crazy. I hate wasted space. So you couple that with like the overall like beefiness of it. And I definitely think this palette is something that'll look really pretty like on a vanity or on a shelf. You know, it'll look really aesthetically nice, which I definitely think is why Jeffrey um, designs things the way that he does. But for me, it's just a little bit too, it's a little bit too much in that respect. Um, but again, I know that that's kind of what he goes for with his packaging, and I can actually applaud him for the commitment to that. Let's go ahead and start off with Royal Pain, which is more of just like a rosy pink kind of color. And we're gonna throw that under the under the lash line. Wow, that's a freaking pigmented shade. Oh my gosh, okay. And I think on the just the outer like underside of the tail, I'm gonna grab a tiny, tiny bit of the shade Dungeon, which is this dark purple right here. And I wanna throw that just mainly on like the outer V and then kind of wing it up a little bit and smoke it into the outer V just a little bit. I'm not going in with a ton of color. I just wanna deepen that up a little bit just so I can get that nice little light eye lift. You know what is so crazy for me to think of, random thought? I just and I mean just started wearing makeup and like getting into actual makeup like two or three years ago. No, wait, how old am I now? I'm 30, <laughs> I'm 30, we know this. Um, I just started getting into and actually like wearing, wearing makeup, I wanna say like four years ago. Yeah, cause I wore and like was playing around with makeup for probably a year or so before I started my channel. And then like, yeah, cause it's been almost three years since I've had a channel. So yeah, it's crazy to me though to think that like I was never one of those girls. Like people that see me, that knew me, you know, six, seven years ago or whatever, they can't believe that this is the girl that I am now, which is so crazy to me. Like there are people that I see them and I'm wearing makeup and they're like, Paige, I never thought I'd see the day where you even knew like what eyeshadow was. <laughs> and now you have like this whole channel dedicated around playing with it and like, you know, enjoying makeup. And I just think it's so crazy to think, you know, how far we can come and evolve as people, as individuals, as everything. Just if you let yourself just have that little bit, you know, just let yourself go. Just, just a freckle. It's crazy. I'm just going to go in with a little glitter glue on my mobile lid. I use the NYX glitter glue. I love Wet Jewel. I think this shade is stunning, but I also love Beauty Sleep. Those two together are really, really pretty. I'm gonna go in first, I think, with Wet Jewel and kind of lay that down. Ooh, gosh, that's pretty. And then I kind of want to throw a little bit of Beauty Sleep over top just to like mix the two shades. That way it's more impactful. Yeah, that's really pretty. I just went to grab my Morphe spray and I'm pretty sure it's gone. <laughs> like, I don't hear anything. Mm. Ooh, there's a little bit left. Ooh. Okay, we couldn't have waited 13 milliseconds. We had to eat it. Okay, Paige, thank you for that. Thank you. Seriously, though, I love my Morphe spray. Oh my gosh. Wow, my makeup right now actually looks pretty freaking nice. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Jaclyn Hill highlight palette, go into the two lighter shades and just kind of Boop, boop, buff that on to my cheeks. Oh my gosh. So the other day, or, or actually lately, like I'd say in the past week or so, I have been going, if you don't follow me on Instagram, let me tell you, you are missing out, okay? I have been on Instagram 
and they have that thing like the the random generator where like some of them will put um like a what carb are you and it'll put like a donut or a croissant or something above your head well i found one of these random generators but it was one that asks you questions oh my god you guys i have been laughing hysterically so yesterday or a couple days ago it asked me um oh my god what was it uh what's your hidden talent and guys i just <sighs> it was so good all right, next, let's go. This is how long I'm avoiding work today. Uh, uh, one hidden talent. I do have a hidden talent. Oh my God. I am actually like, <laughs> this is, oh my God. I'm laughing so hard. I'm crying. This is what I always tell people my hidden talent is. Hold on. I got to set the phone up for this. Don't make fun. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to put this on the internet. This is something. <laughs> Here we go. I'm just going to do it. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, so I always used to do this when I was in high school in advanced bio, and everybody used to think I was crazy. Um, so this is my hidden talent. And when I tell you this is the extent of my hidden talents, I hope that that puts it in perspective how not special I am, okay? Ready? literally all I got. <laughs> I used to do this in class. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I can do it with other fingers too. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Wow. Yep. And everybody can do it. That's the best part. You just don't know it. <laughs> you haven't unlocked the potential inside yourself. Oh yeah. So that's my hidden talent. You're welcome. Oh, the internet is going to love that. <laughs> I mean, Dare I do another one after all of that? What's your zodiac sign? Girl, I'm a Libra. We've been through this. I'm a Libra. Y'all know I'm a Libra. Libras are what's up. Checks and balances. We like to wait things out. Weigh them out, not wait them out. We don't like to wait. We don't like to wait. We like to weigh things out. Except food. I don't like to weigh food, bitch. I want to just eat it. Just give me the whole container of ice cream. Don't be like, girl, scoop a cup. I'm not going to scoop a cup. I'm going to take the container and a spoon. I'm going to scoop. That's my scoop. I don't know how I got to ice cream. I, this thing should should have asked me about ice cream. I told it to ask me about ice cream and it wouldn't ask. So I just had to tell you that I like moose tracks. <laughs> That's my favorite ice cream. Moose tracks, or if I'm having a really bad day, I'll go for double chocolate moose tracks, which is moose tracks in chocolate ice cream, girl. Mm. But either way, it's really good. That's my favorite. What's your zodiac sign, Libra? But we also covered ice cream because you wouldn't ask. You, It's your fault, internet. You wouldn't ask me. I had to tell you. Yum. Wait, so what was I talking about yesterday? Or yesterday? <laughs> Me, what was I talking about yesterday? No, Paige, what were you talking about 17 seconds ago? Wow. Um, so what have we covered in this video so far? We have covered, um... <laughs> that I'm sicker, but I don't have any answers or reason why. We've covered that I, um... I like to play on Instagram. We've covered that I did a look with the Jeffree Star palette. Um, we've covered the, the, my phone is going off. What is wrong today? Guys, my phone has went off more in the last half hour than I think it has my in my entire life. Should I have probably answered the phone call? Probably, then maybe they wouldn't have called me 72 times. But you know what? We're just not gonna talk about that because I don't wanna talk. <laughs> I think I might wanna play with a, like a, a colored or like a different type of situation on my lower lash line lately or not lash line water line because lately i have been really in to um like tight lining whether it's with blacks or browns or colors um i've just been loving playing around with eyeliners lately again which is something i haven't done in so long um and i found i had these um stashed away in my little collection over yonder these are the mark jacobs pencils they came out with this um their glam glitter gel liners and this one i have i think all the shades or most of them and this is in the shade iced and it's like this really beautiful give you like a big old swatch it's like a really nice like shimmery white shade and i think this one on the lower lash line could look really pretty just as like a little extra pop. Wow, that looks so pretty. It looks like a blinged out little uh, tight line. Now I think for the upper water line, I'm just gonna throw a little black from L'Oreal. This is just the one that I use, the Age Perfect one. Let's go ahead and wipe off some of this crusty busty lip situation. One of the glosses, I definitely think the top one, I have the shades, which ones are these here? Um, 
Okay, well, this one doesn't have a sticker, but it's the hot pink one. That's great. Um, so that's fun. And then I also have, <laughs> uh, I have Mystery and uh, Wizard's Glass. So I think Wizard's Glass out of the two is probably going to be better because it has like a little bit more of a, oh my God, a light iridescence to it. But I love this hot pink one. These colors are actually so much fun to play with, especially if you just go in with a lip liner a lot of days like I do, because they really can transform. Like it looks really intense in swatch, but they can transform based on like what's underneath of them, the color of the liner or lipstick or the depth or, you know, if you put it over top of something lighter versus something darker, like you can do a lot with these. And I just, oh my God, I'm super excited. I do think the slightly less hot pink one is better for today um so let's go ahead and mm, i think mm, eh, mm, eh, mm. that's the type of decisive mood i'm in right now mm, eh, eh, eh. i don't know anything oh what about one of my anti-feathering guys i have been using these a ton these are the uh, ones the l'oreal age perfect anti-feathering and one of you a couple of you actually commented and said that the l'oreal anti-feathering lips uh, lip liners in general are really good so i'm definitely gonna pick up some of those this is in the shade 50 nude pink. Also, there's a cat hair on my lip, so that's nice. When isn't there a cat hair on my lip or up my nose? Just be real about it. Cats do have like a little bit of an inherent evil to them. And, uh, you know, they're just, they're feisty little shits. And I'm convinced that sometimes when you sleep, they're just like, let's shove 72 of our hairs right up her nose and just call it a day. Like they're, they're sneaky little shits and I wouldn't put it past them. I really wouldn't, especially my cat. Ooh, she's a feisty old woman. Yeah, that definitely helped. I mean, I look kind of like an ice queen princess right now, but it helped kind of tone down that rosy pinkness. Ooh. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope that you liked this video. I hope you had fun. Um, I don't really know the direction that it went in. I don't even know how much usable footage I have. For the first half of the video, I was in my own head, and then the second half of the video, I was like a ping pong ball all over this room. So I hope that you enjoyed whatever editing page was able to put together for you, and uh, that you enjoyed the look, and just, I don't know, the getting ready company in general. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Would you like to see more of these videos, more chit-chatty get ready with me's? Um, if you ever have any questions or things that you'd like answered, Answered in a future get ready with me be sure to leave those down below as well um, or just you know anything that you have questions on or that you'd like to hear me talk about what have you leave that down in the comments real quickly I do want to go ahead obviously and throw up an up close for you guys just so you can take a look I really do love the way that the overall face look eye combo kind of came together I think overall for the palette obviously this was just like a first impressions play with it kind of thing and I think it worked really nicely I had no issues with like blending um, or like patchiness or over pigmentation or anything like that on the lid which is nice. I think my only caveat would be that some of the shades, again, given that I've only played with a couple of them, some of them do come off a little bit more powdery or uh, soft kick up type style in pan. But as far as how they applied, everything went on and blended nicely. So for me, kick up in pan isn't like a huge factor, but just something I know it bothers a lot of people. So just something to throw out there. Um, and the gloss formula seems to be the same. I'm very familiar with his glosses. I wear them pretty frequently. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts so far. Again, I will give you an update on that. Maybe in just a future updates video or something. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions, like I said, down below. Um, if you haven't checked me out on Instagram and on Twitter, please be sure to do that as well. More importantly than everything else that I've said, if you haven't subscribed and turn on your post notifications, please be sure to do that as well because I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me, the tractors, and my dad this morning while he made noise. And um, I hope you guys all have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye do y'all see this sassy ass bun what, what is what is this what is this hair it's driving me crazy oh baby baby how was i supposed to know okay that's not how that dance goes but it's how it's going in my head um dad you need to calm down sir hulk breathe oh maybe that's where my hulk wrinkle came from because my dad is secretly hulk Bam, bam, bam. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah. I try to use up all my sprays and... Oh my God.